Napkins to Schweitzer are going to go over some answer key to energy content um, by collection. And let's go ahead and just start looking at some answers here. So you could get a PDF of this. It'll give you the answer key as well. But let's go ahead and take a look here. So we got what is thermal heat and under what conditions is it transferred from one object to another one? And thermal heat is kind of hard to describe a little bit, but it literally, uh, in terms you may understand, is this heat you can feel. Um, it's thermal heat, is heat you could feel. Um, it's sometimes thought as, as infrared radiation, but it's the stuff that comes off of hot objects. Hot. Or cold. Alright, so on what conditions is it transferred? Well, there's more to it, but essentially, anytime you have a difference in temperature, um, heat will transfer from one object, object A, to, to object B. You need a medium by which it transfers, typically speaking, or you need some, some there's an issue there between the two that matters, but you know, A will transfer to B um, until they're the same temperature, until temperatures are equal. Um, Two metal balls and copper, one's placed each hand. Which ball will reach the, the bite for first and why? Well, the both, assuming you have a hand, you know, and you place a ball in it, you, assuming the energy transfer is the same, really it's just the specific heat. Uh, copper is 0 0.36, and aluminum is 0 0.9. 0 0.9. So if this receive the same amount of energy, then this one's going to raise the temperature faster, and therefore reach the same temperature as the hand faster. So the answer is aluminum, that's right, copper. Um, how much heat in joules is needed to warm 50 grams of water from 20 years Celsius to 98? So Q equals mass times change in temperature times the heat. Alright, so then looking for Q equals 250 times changing temperature, so it's going to be 98, I guess to here, 98 minus 22, and it's final minus initial times water 4.18 for that guy. Okay, let's do the math. Order operations here it says 98 minus 22 equals 76 times 250 times 4.18 equals 79,420 equals 79,420 and the unit here is in joules. All right, so the heat of toluene is that. How much energy in joules is needed to raise temperature? To 40 grams of toluene from this, this, okay, so just more of the same here, Q equals mass times change in temperature times the heat, okay, so the mass is 40 grams times change in temperature, which is going to be 28.0 minus 10.4, and this guy is 1.13. And at that point, what we got? So it's 28 minus 10.4 equals 17.6 change in temperature times 40 times 1.13 is 795. So we have 795 joules of energy. All right, uh, next up. How much heat in kilojoules must be removed from 175 kilojoules of water to raise from 22 to the freezing point? Okay, so uh, that's 22 to zero. Therefore, Q equals 175 grams times 22 degrees times 4.18. And there we go. 175 times 22 times 4.18 equals 
1693. 16,093. 16,093 joules. Convert that over to kilojoules. We got divided by 1,000, 16.0 kilojoules. All right. We have a 100 gram block of um, 100 gram block, 100 degrees, so let's drop into 100 grams of water. Water come, block comes to 28. Um, all right, so let's draw a picture quickly of this. We got a beaker, insulated cup maybe, contains 150 grams of water. So we'd like to use this table here occasionally. So we got the block, we got the water, we got the mass, temperature initial, temperature final, uh, specific heat, and Q. So the water is 4.18. Uh, it's going from 25 to 28. So a net change of 3. The mass is 150. Then here we have 100. Temperature initial is 100. So um, well, I'll leave it in degrees right now, Celsius now, but we'll. Because I'm, I'm because I'm subtracting it doesn't really matter. Um, to 28, they both have the same final temperature. So here we have 62 degrees. Seventy-two degrees. Um, I don't know what this is. But the energy transfer is equal. So let's take a moment and solve the energy that the water absorbed. So this is positive, and this is negative. Therefore, this is a negative temperature change down. All right, so let's plug it all together. And it's going to be, in this case, here's the work for this Q equals mass times change in temperature times the heat. Um, this is 150, this is 3, this is 4.18 equals 150 times 3 times 4.18 is 1881 equals 1881 and it's in joules. Then 18 81 is the joules that the block lost. So you would negative if you want. Um, so we're looking for the mass is 100 times the change in temperature is 72. That would be a negative 72 times the heat, which is they want. All right, so 1881 divided by 100 divided by 72 equals 0.26. All right, let's see, equals 0 0.26 um, joules per gram degree Celsius. All right, so what is the energy gained? 1881, 1881, and 0.26. All right, next up. 44 grams of NUH is dropped into one liter of water. Temperature increases to 30 degrees. Um, how many moles of NUH were dissolved? Okay, so let's do that. Uh, 44 grams, dot line, grams to moles. One mole equals, so NUH, and if you add this up here, it is, this is 23, should be right around 44. Let's go with 44, it might be 40. That's pretty close. Um, I think it's 40. So equals a little more than one mole. So basically one mole. 44 divided by 40 is 1.1 moles. All right, 1.1 moles. And then what is the total energy given off? Okay, well, now on our chart here, we don't need that too much. Just gonna use the water side this case we have the water is being 
in they're in together. So technically, to do this, Q equals mass times change in temperature times specific heat. Okay, so um, to make be 100% correct here, when we put it's different. The water's different now than it was before. It's not like dropping a blocking where the water really is just two separate items. We get the water, and it's actually a new substance with that stuff in it. But what you'd see on the problem like this, they declare if they have a sort of a clarification that okay, it's a new substance, but we still have 4.18. That hasn't changed much. Um, my change in temperature is what I'm looking for, I believe. Um, what does it say? Oh, it raised 13 degrees, so this is 13. And our bar mass has changed. We have one liter of water, which is equivalent to 1,000 grams, or one kilogram, plus 44. So I have 1,000 and 44 grams. That's my new solution. And assuming that hasn't changed much, we could just solve it out. Um, so a little bit different than the block. And it's sort of being joules. All right. So 1,044 times 13 times 4.18 equals 56,730. All right. 56,730. And I think that's the end of our video here.